Hi guys, so today I'm trying to do my French drain. So we've uh, got the digger man to dig out the trench and I'm now just digging around the pipe where I'm going to put the connection in and I've got to be really careful only to cut a small section and then try and squeeze the pipe in so that it will fit. Uh, it's quite difficult to do. So this is the pipe that was already here um, and provides the drainage from our uh, drain pipe. And what I'm trying to do here is install this U-shape into the pipe already. Now, as you can see, it's obviously quite difficult uh, to get in. And so what I'm trying to do, obviously, as you can see there, there's so much of the pipes that will go in either side, but hopefully it will give me enough room to get it into that, to get it into that, and so it sits there. But it's very, very tight, and I'm trying to uh, squeeze it in now. Part of what I have done is I have chafered off the edges just to help me squeeze the pipe in. I've had to go further back um, along one of the pipes in order to give it a bit of wiggle room, obviously so I can move it, so that when I'm trying to get that in, I've got a bit of wiggle room to get it in, to then get it in this side. So before uh, I glue anything down, uh, I always try to make sure that everything fits in the hole and everything works. Um, and then I will make the level so that there's a, a bit of a slant on the slope. Um, and then I'll glue all of the pieces of tubing together uh, before kind of putting the weed liner in and everything else. So uh, this is where I am so far and uh, it looks quite well. It fits, there's a bit of an angle on that long piece at the end there, but that doesn't matter anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to start gluing. It's worth mentioning that uh, the previous uh, tube that uh, takes our rainwater away actually has some whole drainage holes on the top of the tube. Now, typically for a French drain, you would always put those holes on the bottom of the tube so that the water would rise into the pipe and then drain away. Uh, this pipe was there already. I have no idea why they've put holes on the top, probably because they thought that the water would come down through and into the pipe and drain away. So I've done the same thing as I did uh, with my previous drain. I bought normal PVC pipe and I'm cutting the holes myself uh purely because it's cheaper to do that and uh it's quite easy to cut the holes myself but you can buy the ones with the holes or do it yourself like i have so there we are we've now got the weed liner in or the membrane in and pipes are in and glued now i need to get the gravel in and make sure that the pipes are all on a good slope so that it drains away the water getting there slowly but surely so as you can see i'm now putting the gravel in and the pipe starting to get covered uh, i'll leave about 15 to 20 centimeters off the top before i will wrap weed liner over the top of the gravel and then i'll put soil on top of that obviously the weed liner will stop any dirt or soil getting into the drain and then eventually blocking up the drain uh, pipe we're nearly there we've just got to keep shoveling some uh, gravel into the pit. So there we are, I've put all the gravel in and I've folded the weed lider on top. So the next step now is to put all the soil back on top and it'll look like nothing's ever happened. That's the plan, I don't think it will though. So there we are, we've got the French drain in and I've now moved all of the excess soil. So it's starting to look like normal. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. Please click the subscribe button and I'll see you next time in the next video. Cheers guys, bye.